what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm gonna be giving you my first story time it's pretty wild and yeah yesterday i said i'd do one today i know it's late i'm filming this at like 11 o'clock so yeah but i just figured i'll do it anyways but yeah let's jump in first of all let me give the context to the story so yesterday i went to see the newest movie, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which is amazing. And I have a review on it on my channel from yesterday. So definitely go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, that's what I was seeing. Um, I'm not going to give the theater location. I was literally about to say that. But then I just thought it through. I'm like, why the heck would I say that in the video? But yeah, that's basically what I was doing. So that's the context for the story. Now it's actually getting to the juicy parts. So the show was at 8.15. We got in the theater around 7.45, so we were kind of early. We were the only people in the theater for, I'd say, five or ten minutes, and then people started to flood in. But, yeah, it was pretty packed once the movie actually started. So, yeah, the movie started. It was this guy reading from this book or something, or just reading, like, the basically main plot of the story or some random poem. I really don't know what it was. <laughs> It's kind of blurry now since all this happened. But yeah, literally less than two minutes into the movie, the screen goes black for about five seconds and we're like, what's going on? Then these super loud alarms start going off. So like, and these white lights are blinking on the side of the theater. I've never been in an evacuation before, so I was freaking out. <sighs> well, I wasn't really freaking out, but it was just surprising to me. It kind of jump scared me. But... I knew there really wasn't anything going on because just people seemed so calm outside. So, yeah, basically, we pretty much no one got up until the lady in the thing said, there's been an emergency reported in the building. Please, everyone take the emergency exit to the left. That's when everyone got up because we thought it might be something else. So, yeah, we were kind of confused for a second. So, yeah, it kind of startled me at first. But I was cracking some jokes on the way out, you know, because it only had started for two minutes. So I was like, that was a great movie. Ha, 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 ha. So we go through this emergency exit. It's like a bunch of supplies and stuff. And we're outside. And they're, they, it, I, I thought it might have just been a few theaters uh, near the emergency or something. Nah, there's like 100 people out there, security guards and stuff. <laughs> there's no police or firefighters yet. Until about five minutes, we heard a siren coming. There was a few policemen standing, so they must have come from the front. We can't. We were in the back side, of this theater. So I was like, "What? What's going on? Fire? Was it a bunch of kids that pulled the alarm? False alarm or whatever?" I didn't really think it was that serious because there wasn't that much emergency services there, but it was pretty wild at the time. Now we were standing next to these two kids who their movie was ending in about 10 minutes, Hobbs and Shaw, I think. Yeah, they were pretty freaked out. They were trying to play it off cool, but I could tell they were shaking, which I don't blame them. I was shaky a little bit too, because, like, we don't know what was happening. There could have been a fire, pe the active shooter. We really didn't know. I mean, it's 2019, so you got to be pretty worried about that stuff. So two fire trucks show up. Then it gets even more crowded because like 50 to 100 bystanders or people that heard the sirens came and now it's just more packed, which is kind of annoying. So we, then I think my dad went to go ask the worker what was going on. He said, or no, the policeman what was going on. He said he had no clue. So at that point, I pretty much knew it was a false alarm, but it was a pretty cool experience because I'd never experienced an evacuation before. So then they let us back in, and I'm going to be honest, I kind of wanted there to be some, like, cool thing that happened inside the theater. But alas, it wasn't. It, we, 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 we still don't know what it was. Uh, we didn't really ask. We just kind of just wanted to go back to the theater in case the movie was already playing or something like that. But it it definitely was not very serious. The workers were joking it up. The firefighters didn't seem alarmed at all that were inside. So it was pretty much a waste of time, but I thought it was pretty fun. So, yeah. So we get back into the theater, and we're all settled in. 
they restart the movie because, of course, it only had started 20 minutes or two minutes into the movie. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, yeah, they restarted the movie. We were all just enjoying it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then, boom, screen shuts off. Everyone's triggered. Everyone's like, are you serious right now? Like, this this took like an hour longer than it should have. So that shuts off. People get up to go alert whoever. So then 20 minutes later, the movie finally turns back on. And no more interruptions. Good thing. So that was like the worst movie experience you could ever have. Especially if you really are like trying to get home on time, you know. It was 8.15 showing, so it should have been done around 10. For us, it was done around 11.30, so that was kind of annoying, I guess. I thought it was kind of fun, but that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the story time. If you did, hit me with a sub to support my videos and see whenever they come out. And, yeah, social links in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, folks.